Senator Obama, appreciating what you said about the media's <laughs> preoccupation with race, there, there is there one. Go. Right, though. <laughs> The Nobel Prize winning African American author Toni Morrison famously observed about Bill Clinton, quote, this is our first black president, blacker than any actual black person who could ever be elected in our children's lifetime. Do you think Bill Clinton was our first black president? <laughs> well, <laughs> Uh, I, I think uh, Bill Clinton did have an enormous affinity with the African-American community, uh, and still does. And I think that's well earned. Uh, you know, like John, uh, one of the things that I'm always in, inspired by, no, I'm, uh, th th this I'm serious about. The, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always inspired by uh, young men and women who grew up in the South uh, when segregation was still taking place, when uh, you know, the transformations uh, that are still incomplete but at least have begun had not yet begun. Uh, and to see that transformation uh, in their own lives, I think that is powerful. Uh, and it is hopeful uh, because what it indicates is that people can change. Uh, and each successive generation can uh, you know, create a, a different vision of how you know, we have to treat each other. And I think Bill Clinton embodies that. I think he uh, deserves credit for that. Now, I haven't, you know, I, I have to say that, uh, uh, you know, I, I would have to, you know, investigate more, you know, uh, Bill's dancing abilities and, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, some of this other stuff before I accurately judged. Uh, whether he was, in fact, a brother. <laughs> but, <laughs> let's, let's let Senator Clinton well, uh, weigh, I'm weigh sure in on that. I'm sure that can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I want to echo what um, Barack has said and what each of us has said repeatedly over the last um, days. Uh, you know, this campaign is obviously an incredible opportunity for so many people to become involved, to be part of making history. You've got a son of the South, you've got an African American, you have a woman. What better way to celebrate the legacy of Dr. King?